Hello, good day to all of you, those who are viewing this particular video. Now today we will try to understand the basics about human circulatory system. Now, why there is a need of human uh, need of circulatory system is basically everything um, cannot be transported to the different parts of the body, the minerals, the vitamins, the essential oxygen, carbon dioxide that has to be transported cannot reach each and every part of the body if there is there wasn't a circulatory system. Okay, because of that, a circulatory system is required. Therefore, human beings have got a heart which basically pumps the blood to the different parts of the body. Now, if you see the different parts of the heart, here this is there are a pair of atriums. Okay, the, there are two a pair of atriums that is on the right side it is the right atrium, on the left side it is the left atrium. Then we have the pair of ventricles and this one is your right ventricle. I am just writing in abbreviation that is RV that is right ventricle and the other one on the other side is your left ventricle. Now alongside huh, there is a small pipe which comes which basically originates here and this is known as inferior I'm, I'm writing in abbreviation of us inferior vena cava okay and uh, there is another pipe on the top to be called as the superior vena cava here this is your superior vena cava okay now how does the blood flow okay the blood from the lower part of your body that is below your heart all the blood that is impure blood which contains less percentage of oxygen and more percentage of carbon dioxide come through the inferior vena cava right into your right atrium. Whereas from the upper part of the body that is above your heart, that is from your forelimbs, head, all the impure blood comes from the superior vena cava into the right atrium. Got it? Then that blood when the heart pumps when the heart contracts the blood from the superior the right atrium will be passed through this particular valve to the right ventricle okay from the right ventricle the blood again the heart again relaxes the blood will be filled there again when it contracts the blood from the right ventricle will go to the lungs. Where will it go? It will go to the lungs. Okay. When it goes to the lungs, there the purification takes place where the carbon dioxide is deposited and what is taken up? Oxygen is taken up. And the blood, after reaching the lungs, suppose the lungs is somewhere here, this box is the lungs. After it purifies the blood basically comes from the lungs to the left atrium okay from the left atrium through the other valve which is also known as the bicuspid valve it comes to the left ventricle and from the left ventricle when the heart squeezes or contracts the blood is moved through a huge artery to be called as Aorta. And from the aorta, it is taken to the different parts of the body. Okay, it is taken to the different parts of the body. So you can see here there are four chambers in a human heart. The four chambers are right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. And there are two different types of valves in between the right part and the left part of the heart. In between this right and the left, there is a muscular wall which separates the heart into two divisions and that is known as septum. Okay, and in between the right atrium and the right ventricle, there is a valve. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, 
Here, as I was telling you, there's one valve here, there's another valve here. Now, this is a tri it valve. And here is your bi it valve. Now, this tricuspid and bicuspid valve, what does it do is they are narrow at one end and broad on the other because of which they will not allow the backflow of the blood. The valve may be, uh, may be something like this. Okay, something like this. So when the blood oozes from here, when the blood flows, when the heart contracts, the blood flows out from this valve but will not be able to go back. Therefore, this is called a valve. Understood? Okay. Did you? Did you know the